Hi, I'm Timothy Brusella, and I have another uh, related rate word problem I want to do for my, my 1325 class. This one says to find the rate of change of total revenue, cost, and profit with respect to time. Assume that R of X and C of X are in dollars. They give us the revenue function, they give us the cost function, and they also give us a value for x and a rate of change of x. And remember that dx dt I refer to just as x prime. So they want us to find the rate of change of total revenue, the rate of change of total cost, and the rate of change of total profits. Uh, they only gave us revenue and cost, so y'all have to remember how to find that uh, uh, profit function. You would have seen that in Math 1325, and I'm sure we've done it before in this class as well. So here I've written the uh, pertinent information down. First of all, part A, we're going to be differentiating the revenue function. That's that R, R equals 45x minus 0.5x squared. And realize that's a little T down there. Sort of hard to tell that. That is a T. So, and, and every time you differentiate a letter that's different from that T, you're going to be picking up a prime. So the derivative of R is just R prime. The derivative of 45X is 45, but we have to stick on X prime minus 2 times 0.5X squared. I mean, 2 times a 0.5, that's just a 1. So we just have a minus x to the first power times x prime. 2 times a negative 0.5 is a negative 1. x to the 2 minus 1, x to the first power. Stick on the x prime. And we want to find out how quickly is revenue changing when x is 40 and x prime is 30. We can just plug in right there. So... Plugging in, I don't like that word, I guess I should say substituting in, 30 for x prime, x becomes 40, and x prime becomes another 30, we're going to get a 1350 minus 1200. It's just giving me a 150. So at this point, revenue is changing by, it's increasing, that's a positive number. So it's increasing by $150 per, what was the time period? Days. So revenue is increasing at a rate of $150 per day. Now part B, part B, we have to do the same thing with the cost function. So we're going to differentiate our cost function with respect to time. Oh, this one's going to be easy. The derivative of the cost function, how are we denoting that? How am I going to, de the derivative of just a letter is 1, so the coefficient will be a 1, but how do we denote the derivative of the cost function? What's the notation I'm using? Yes, C prime equals the derivative of 2x is just a 2, stick on an x prime, and 15, the derivative is 0. Oh, this one I said it'd be easy. Just replace the uh, x prime. What's the number we're plugging in for x prime? 30. To give us a positive 60. So at this moment in time, the revenue is increasing by $150 uh, per day. The cost function is, I mean, the cost of increasing by $60 a day. So can anyone guess how much the profit function is increasing by? Revenue is increasing by $150. Cost is increasing by $60. So... And I bet we could figure out the uh, someone. Uh, I bet you could uh, tell me how much you think the profit function's increasing by uh, uh, without even going through the what I'm about to do with part C. But I'll go ahead and do part C anyway, like this. First of all, we need to find our profit function. 
Remember, profit is equal to revenue minus cost. So revenue, that's a 45x minus a 0.5x squared. Cost is a 2x plus 15. So pushing that up there, we then have, that's a negative 0.5x squared, 45x minus 2x, that gives us a plus 43x, and a minus 15. Don't forget to distribute the minus over that fixed cost of 15. And now we're going to differentiate with respect to t time. And the derivative of p with respect to t, how am I denoting that? Yes, p prime equals negative, the derivative of a negative 0.5x squared is still just a negative 1x times x prime plus the derivative of 43x, the derivative of a number times x is the number, stick on the x prime. And now p prime, let's see. We're going to start making, remember they gave us the x values here at the very beginning, they gave us x is 40 and x prime is 30. Let me write that down somewhere. x is 40 and x prime is 30. There, so now make the substitutions. You have p prime equals x is 40, x prime is 30, x prime is another 30. So that's going to give us a that's a negative 1200. That's going to be a 1290 and negative 1200 plus 1290. Isn't that a positive 90? Is that what y'all thought it was going to be? If the revenue is increasing at a rate of $150 per day, costs are increasing at a rate of $60 a day, their difference would be the rate at which the profit is increasing, and sure enough, that's $90 a day. So $150 minus $60, if you had done that, you would have gotten the correct final answer there. And let me see, we still have a few minutes, let's do one more problem. Mm hmm okay let's see if I can find one here it is here's the problem I want to do let me uh -oh, let me move this down there so suppose that the price P in dollars and the weekly sales X and thousands of units of a certain commodity satisfy the demand equation 4PQ plus X squared equals 78,125. Determine the rate at which sales are changing at a time when X is equal to 125 and P equals 25 and the price is falling at a rate of, put us at 20 cents per week. That sounds like a rate of change to me. The price is falling. So P prime, it's falling, it's decreasing. So P prime is going to be a negative 0.2. Let me write this problem down. We had, this is number seven. I didn't know if we'd have time to do this one today. So. That's why I skipped on to that other one, number eight. So we're going to differentiate with respect to time. The derivative of 4p cubed with respect to t is a 12p squared p prime plus the derivative of x squared is a 2x times x prime and the derivative of 78,125 is zero. Moses, do you need your homework printed down? Come and do it. So, 
The derivative part fell out very nicely. Now look back at the problem. Remember they told us that when x is equal to 125, p is 25, and that the price is falling at a rate of 0.2, so p prime is equal to negative 0.2. And we're looking for, let's see, I never even mentioned that. Find the rate at which sales are changing. Well, sales, the quantity sold, that's x. So we're looking for x prime. We're looking for x prime. So that's a 1, a 12 times. Making the substitutions. Another class is coming in here in a few minutes into this room I'm in, so I'm rushing. And X prime, that's what we're looking for, isn't it? So 12 times 25 squared minus 15 hundred plus that's a 250 x1 equals 0 that's right. add 1500 to both sides that gives us 250 x1 equals a positive 1500 divide both sides by 250 I can do that one in my head and get that x prime is equal to positive 6 so, if you're in my Math 1325 class this semester, this is the number 7 in your uh, Related Rates homework. And we differentiate it with respect to time t. Remember, each time you differentiated a p, you got a p prime. Each time you differentiated a t, you got a, I mean, an x, you got a t prime. Substituted in the values they gave us to determine that x prime equals 6. Okay, I gotta go. Bye bye. Oh, but I think at this point I've worked through in the three videos, I think I've worked through pretty much all of the uh, related rate homework problems that you had in this uh, uh, homework assignment. Or at least I've done enough of them that you should be able to mimic my examples on the others. Okay, bye bye.